it's time for my Halloween suggestions videos for 2021. These are some of the films that I think you should watch on Halloween night. Um, I, I'm going to do a part two of this. I'm not going to show all my horror video collections because I showed so many of them uh, in the last year or so. And I don't have a lot of horror movies on DVD. I might talk about some I don't own on DVD. Who knows? But uh, let's get started. First one is The Adams Family. Adams Family and Adams Family Zero. Sorry. The Adams Family and the Adams Family Vows. I can't say that word. Adams Family Vows, you know. With the late great Raul Julia as Gomez and Christopher Lloyd as Uncle Fester. I like both of these films. You know the Adams Family, they give you a Halloween vibe. I don't know, I think the se the second one is my favorite, but I love the first one too. It's mostly about Uncle Fester. I mean, the Adams Family is all about Halloween, no matter what day of the year you watch the Adams Family, uh, you just have that Halloween spirit. And they're already making a part two of this. I mean, they already made a part two of this, I haven't seen it yet. But yeah, some people like the anime version, I like this. Some people didn't, but I did uh, like this uh, version too. The next one is a weird one uh, that I don't know if a lot of people have seen it. It's a great 80's classic. Soror Sorority Babes and the Slime Bowl Ballorama. Original, originally this film was called The Imp and it's about the imp in this bowling alley. It's about these girls who want to join the sorority and these three guys spy on them and uh, they get caught and they have to go with the girls to help them uh, steal this bowling trophy. To get in this sorority and they Alicia, a powerful evil imp, the, the imp comes out and grants them uh, wishes, but they all backfire on them. Uh, this guy, uh, he played Stooge in Night of the Demons, and uh, the girl who plays Spider, uh, the cool biker chick, right here, I think this is her, she played uh, Suzanne in Night of the Demons, too. That's a good horror movie. You should check that out, Night of the Demons, and this. Sorority Babes in the Slime Bowl Ball Rama. It's a long title. Next one is The People Under the Stairs. About this kid named Fool and his friend Leroy. They have to uh, rob this place. You know, they try to rob this house with this weird people named Mommy and Daddy. I love the actors who play Mommy and Daddy. Uh, what's her name? Wendy Roby. Wendy Roby. And Everett McGill. He also played in a Silver Bullet as the preacher, the werewolf. But yeah, he's got to go into this house and he's got to try to steal this money to help his family out. And you know, these have these they have these weird people under the stairs. Hence the title. But you should you should check this out. It's a cool horror movie. The Chucky Collection. With all of the seven movies. Yeah, Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and Code of Chucky. I do like part one, part two, and part three I do kind of like. I know a lot, not a lot of people like part three. Bride of Chucky was definitely okay. Seed of Chucky, I really didn't like it too much. Uh, when it came out, I, I think I kind of liked it, but now I don't really like it that much. But Curse of Chucky and Code of Chucky. And that new uh, Chucky TV show, I didn't review it yet. Uh, I need to review that TV show. I, I actually I actually like the Child's Play TV show. That's on Sci-Fi now. But Co Curse of Chucky and Code of Chucky, those are two. They're cool too, especially with uh, Alex Vincent reprising his role as Andy Barkley. And then, I think it was Code of Chucky, uh... Christina Elise, uh, the actress who played Kyle in Child's Play 2, uh, who played the foster sister, she reprised her role in a deleted scene, alternate ending. But you gotta check uh, the whole Chucky collection out. Everybody knows who Chucky is, to be honest. Some people did like the remake. Uh, this one was alright, but uh, 
I always prefer the original Child's Play, but this is cool too. From the producers of it, Child's Play. This one had Luke Skywalker as the voice of Chucky, not a uh, Brad Dourif, who I always like Brad Dourif as Chucky, but he did a good job too. It's a little different uh, in the this uh, version. Um, I mean, this version. This was kind of a robot Chucky. While in the original one, uh, Brad Dourif, he transferred, I mean, Charles Lee Ray, his character, transfers his soul into the Child's Play doll. This one was called a buddy, like a My Buddy doll, and the original one was a good guy doll, so it's a little different, but this is alright too. My last one, uh, the last one is the four film, the four film collection, My Best Friend is a Vampire, Repossessed, Slaughter High, the uncut version, and uh, Silent Night, Daily Night, Part 3. I don't own the original Silent Night, Daily Night, about Billy and his encounter with Crazy Santa. I should own that one. I need to get that one one day. Repossessed was the spoof of The Exorcist with Leslie Nielsen as Father May I. I was about to say Mother May I. As Father May I... My Best Friend is Vampire, uh, it's not really a scary movie, but it's kind of a cool 80s vampire movie like uh, Once Bitten with Jim Carrey, that's a good one too. And Slaughter High about uh, the kid who was bullied on April Fool's Day, which was also his birthday, Marty Ranson, he comes back and he for this high school reunion and he kills uh, the, pe the jocks who bullied him. So yeah, check that one out too. And part two is going to be on the way soon. Hope you have a good day.